Alright guys, like every From Scratch video, we are going to be giving away one $45 bond to one lucky winner, and then a $5 bond to the first non-edited comment that states their username on this video. So if you guys would like to enter this giveaway, all I ask is that you are subscribed to my channel, like the video, and comment your in-game username, and register using the link in the description so no one can steal your reward. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, just to go ahead and recap everything before we start this video, we did end up selling 6 of our Amulet of the Dams as they did rise in price on a new update. So glad I actually saved it rather than just trying to dump it into the trading post because we actually made a lot of profit off of that. We also got like a skilling task bottle that we sold. We sold all of our vote tickets and we also got a $10 bond, opened it up to extend our status to $60 and then we ended up selling the donator tickets and then we also bought a Vestas plate skirt. Let's go ahead and take a look at our bank and discuss what we're going to do today. Alright, so we obviously have the goods like the Heavy Ballista, Morgans, Vestas, and a Vesta Longsword, Bounty Cape, Treasure Fairy, but if you actually take a look further into the bank, we are sitting at 44 bill cash and an Elemental Sibo, and basically all the PKing supplies we'll need. We're doing really good for ourselves and we want to take it to the next level as we are now on episode 5 and by episode 10 I want to be a pretty decent account. There is a hybrid tournament that begins in 9 minutes and the reward is 10,000 blood money. I might as well check it out. Oh my gosh, that was pretty intense! Not gonna lie. Well, that didn't take long at all. I actually cheapened the price of the blood money to 3.9 mil each, and when sold in bulk like this, that's basically eye candy to anybody that's looking to merch this to bump the price up to about even 4 mil each or 4.5 mil each. So, well, everybody's happy. Whoever bought it got it, and well, 390 100 mil bags. Let's go. Alrighty, I think I'm going to invest in as many achievements that can be bought as I can because I do want to get that red completionist cape. So I am going to spend 87 of my bags on three donator mystery box, open them up, and hopefully we get some pretty good stuff from them. So far, so good. One big reward. Ooh, okay, five AGSs. And now we completed the baller one achievement and got 500 donator tickets from it. So not bad at all. You'll actually receive five blood diamonds if you open up a mystery chest. I would like to get that out of the way, so what I think I'm actually going to do is buy a bond and increase my donator status here. 244 bags for a $20 bond, or I could spend 121 plus another 124, that would be like 245. Pretty much the same price here. We're going to open up a $20 bond. Man, my cash tag is already going back down, but... Hopefully we get something good from the mystery chest. Trust me, it's so worth opening up a mystery chest because you just get a free achievement done. The reward kind of sucks balls, but we'll see what we can get from it. I would like to get a prize key before actually going through with this because, you know, you just don't open it op empty-handed. But let's see how much 2,000 donator tickets would cost and it would be better to just buy a $20 bond. Alright, we did pretty darn good. We actually managed to stay at our 400 bag cap and still got the donator tickets we need. I really hope I don't get screwed over by this, but we are going to use the prize key on the mystery chest and... Oh, mini me! Let's go! And primal plate legs. Ah, oh, yes, boys. We literally just got 40 bill right back and we completed the achievement we needed. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. That's good, that's good stuff. 40 bill, they're 40 bill. 
We hit the jackpot, boys! No, oh, look at that. Item listing purchases already. It's only been like a minute. Mini Me Pet has been sold, boys! Right back to where we were. Yo, we're only $20 away from a new donator status. Like, we might as well go for it. And open these bad boys up. See if there's any other achievements we need to get out of the way. I could open up an Epic Pet Mystery Box, but I am not getting cucked, dude. No thank you. I got my RNG was good at first, but nah, that's like 40 bill you could be dumping down the drain. And you only get 10 blood diamonds, so no thank you. Elite donator status, boys. I don't know if you guys noticed that when I opened it up, but yes, we are moving on up. Oh my goodness, we are literally on a roll here. Yes, boys. Genie pets are really cheap right now, and I'm going to need to snag one for the near future. Might as well get it done now. Okay, you know what? Chaos Elemental actually makes some pretty banger loot. Look at all of these point mystery boxes we accumulated. And we even got ourselves a Ring of Vigor. Alright guys, I am going to cut this upload a little bit shorter than normal. Only because of the fact that I have some real life things to tend to. But I want to go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing next episode. And we are really going to start hitting this series hard. And we are going to start doing it actively. So right now we're doing the Chaos Elemental or Barrel Chest Achievement. We only have about 44 more to go. We will be finishing this on the next episode. I want to go ahead and knock out some of the easy ones, like 25 Krakens. Hell, maybe even 75. Might even do 250 Crazy Arcs. And then we're definitely going to try to get ourselves 150 Battle Mages. And then after that, there really isn't many more achievements that we have to do. Because we're going to go ahead and start Skiller 1, Skiller 2, Skiller 3, and Skiller 4. And that's basically 4 fat achievements we're going to get stacked out. And then we got to go ahead and finish Manhunting 2, Manhunting 3, Bloodthirsty 1, Bloodthirsty 2, and maybe even Bloodthirsty 3. Basically, by the time we get the Completionist Cape achievements done, we are going to have Completionist 2 completed. And we shall go straight to the red Completionist Cape. So I'm actually going to go ahead and open all of these boxes, see what we get from it hopefully we get lucky and then after that we're actually going to price check the entire bank just to see where we stand that is poggers three chaotic malls i will take that let's go ahead and spam through these point mystery boxes since the rewards are pretty common all right so i went ahead and pulled out everything that i think has really high value and we still have a bunch of other stuff in the bank and I actually estimated the price to be a little bit over 87 bill, which means we're really close to that 100 bill mark, and we're going to keep striving for this. It's only been five episodes, and we've been doing really well for ourselves. So we're not doing half bad, but we have a long way to go here. I really like the fact that we have a Treasure Fairy Pet, Heavy Ballista, Ellie Sebo, Primal Plate Legs, Genie Pet, and basically everything we're going to need to start out this series so we can go ahead and push for the big boy stuff. I'm really hoping to get some auto keep and untradables here soon, as those are going to be huge for this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!